Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. We have our first side mission up here, and this is going to be a defeat heavy enemies mission, which means fewer minions, more health bars, which is scary. They're also going to hit harder. Plus, at the end of our last combat mission, we unlocked, or we gained enough stars to unlock ultimate one difficulty, which means enemies are hitting harder, they are taking more damage, they are now sending more enemy reinforcements, so I'm expecting some pain. We still have one revive permission that hasn't changed, uh, but things are going to be tough. Uh, artifact up for grabs here. The squad that we're taking and we talked about before, we're gonna take uh, Doctor Strange and we're going to take the Hunter. Uh, Doctor Strange, I do want to change this up a little bit. We're gonna go Future Supreme. I think this I'm looks glad to super see you're cool. Out of your shell after all He's also years. got a, a green look, and if we think about like the blade um, suit that I really liked, I may end up just putting everybody in green looks. But uh, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing here is each of these guys has a combat bonus. So I feel like our first mission on ultimate one difficulty having these combat bonuses could be nice so uh ghost rider he is allowing us to start the mission with plus two redraws well rested is giving everybody a resist at mission start so i think our first basically instance of damage for each hero is going to be nullified and then invigorated means the hunter is going to get strengthened at mission start so he's going to be dealing more damage which is uh, i guess pretty helpful uh let's rock and roll shall we we'll be able to go through some of the ghost rider cards because we haven't played with him yet and uh his thing is basically trading off health for damage. He does have some lifesteal cards, and then he's got like a special meter as well that Show we can no try oh, and cool. fill. So this is teaching us about Doctor Strange enhance abilities. We've talked about this a little bit, and I think we've already seen it, but basically uh, some of his cards are more powerful when played with more heroism. What's interesting is you don't have the choice, so if you if you have the heroism in your heroism bank, let's call it, to play the card, you have to use that amount of heroism. So there's some extra strategy there in terms of how you want to play his cards that have enhanced. Okay, I think the hunter is strengthened. <laughs> I can't be sure. I can't be sure. All right, yeah, so this is nice. So we're doing extra 50%, prevent all damage from the next one damaging attack. And we got to clear this board, and this is quite the board, let me just say. So Lash is a forceful knockback in any direction. Inspire, this is a new card that we just got. Change the cost of a random heroic card in your hand to zero. We actually don't have any heroic cards. Um, I'm gonna redraw Agamotto's Gaze because I'm not gonna play two of these. Okay, so we have double Lash. If I could honestly get Oh, if I could get a redraw where we pull his Hellride card, that would be nice. That would be quite good. Um, we do have one Quick Slash ability here. And while we are buffed on the Hunter right now, and it kind of feels like, well, do we want to waste that much damage on the minions? Uh, like, yeah, I kind of, I need to just clear the board a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need, yeah, we're gonna need to clear the board. How are, who's targeting who here? So, Strange is getting targeted by three. Hunter's getting targeted by three. And Ghost Rider's getting targeted by three. Well, that's nice and, uh, nice distribution. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, I kind of, because we have an upgraded Slash with Forceful Knockback, I think if we position over here, we could do a Forceful Knockback... Uh, on this Hydra Officer to hit this guy. That's an option. Or we could knock this guy into the um, explosive canisters there. We have a shield guard that's going to be problematic. Like, this is very intimidating, I'm not going to lie. Very intimidating. Hail that. Hail that. All right. 
Now, I do really want to play Agamotto's Gaze. So the thing is, like, I think I'm going to redraw one of the Lash cards here. Blessing of Ashanti is not bad, but I think in this scenario, we're going to use up some of these extra redraws. Okay, that's kind of neat. We could apply some weak here to maybe the officer. I feel like the officer mainly does debuffs and buffs. And then this guy, I think he can hit pretty hard. I think he does like some dazes. Uh, but the thing is, we could play something like Inspire. It doesn't generate any heroism, unfortunately, but it does would give us this for free. So in a sense, kind of. I just don't know if this gives us the enhanced version or not. Uh, but I can also play this just after one more card play, so it's really not that big of a deal. Hmm. I think we're gonna start here. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. I suppose it's something. Okay, so we're down to we're at two card plays. I'd really like to play Agamotto's Gaze if I could. Um, I can hold Inspire. I can hold Inspire. This extra redraw should carry over. Uh, and I'm I'm thinking... I'm thinking we play the Axe of Angaramus. I just focus on maybe... This guy for now. Try to get rid of one. And then I could play into Agamotto's Gaze. Or I could I could play Agamotto's Gaze now. Get one of those quick cards back. Clear out another minion. Maybe that's the play. And then I have enough heroism where I can spend this and get way more damage. Because we're going to get plus 22 on that. Yeah, I think so. Let's give it a go. Plus, if we can clear the minions, uh, Just what we don't get that requires. necessarily wasted on like the minion damage wasted on our resists. If that makes sense, because then all the damage that's coming in is heavier, and that means that the yeah, let's go here. The damage coming in will be heavier, and that'll be the damage that gets resisted. See, we also... I wouldn't mind knocking him into this. We could do that with Slash, but then, like, the Axe I really want to play. So, I think we'll do the Axe. And then I will have... I will have one Heroism left to do something. Guess I could drop the box on him, and then he's almost gone. He'll be weak as well. This you carry the responsibility of Sorcerer Supreme with great ease, Doctor. Problem is now, Ghost Rider, he's gonna start taking a bunch of damage. Uh, because he's taking three attacks here. Hunter's going to take one. And Strange going to take two. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I think I will drop this on him. Watch and learn, my friend. And then positioning-wise... Is there anything we want to change here? I do probably want to set up around this to shoot somewhere. Maybe this area gets busy. We can knock this into somebody and, and uh, move them around. But who's getting targeted the most here? Ghost Rider. So these guys probably don't move much. He probably will. And he'll probably come over to this area. I'm not sure it's going to ultimately matter that much. But let's just move Ghost Rider here. I don't have a follow-up. Now, he's got this Souls meter down here that we'll learn about, but he Situation builds up Souls control. by getting KOs. 
And then every time his souls meter fills, uh, he gets a copy of Drained Souls. So here these guys are resisting all this, this first incoming damage. That's not great, man. That is actually not great at all. So his output is now halved. And there's the big the fat days. And they've gone in to protect that big guy. Well, isn't that fancy? Okay. This is still a chain two. Uh, Helmoth, I don't know. I feel like Helmoth is a little bit of a trap because yes, you create a drop with an increased chance to knock out enemies for two turns, but like, these guys are all still full health, so the chances are still going to be quite low. Um, I have Inspire sitting here. I'm kind of waiting for his Hell Ride, you know? That's the thing. Now we have the Holy Flame. This guy is immune to knockback. The fact that he's protecting him, that is really uncool, man. That is really uncool. I'm going to redraw Hellmouth here. There's Hellride. <laughs> All right. The problem is I, I want to play this when he's not weak, you know? He's, he's getting attacked three times next turn. So that's a little bit of a situation. A little bit of a situation. So I'm looking at I'm looking at something like this to get some damage in there. We can do a forceful knockback in any direction. And we could put a stun on this guy after we do that slash attack. He will take a little bit of damage there. Um, but we'll have the heroism to then drain soul, chain two. It's lower damage, but it does buff drain souls. It gets us a little bit of life steal. Um, not a lot because he's weak. And then if I really need to, I could restore some health. Or, what, what we could do... How much health does this guy have? 18? Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to be quite enough damage. Because even though he's protected, we can knock people into him. Hmm. The safer play would be to heal him, for sure. For sure. Another thing we could do is I could come over this way and I could knock the elite into the officer and then we could do the lash and he goes into the officer as well. That's probably enough to destroy the officer. The thing is the officer has that weak on him so like his output is, is lower. <sighs> this is a tough call. I think if I can cl clear some some debuffs from the field, then maybe that's the way to go. This does mean, though, that if I move over here, I'm not going to have a reposition to utilize this thing. Which is kind of unfortunate. But I'm not even sure I'll have enough to do everything I want anyway. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Hunter comes over. We're going to do the forceful knockback here. Into the protected officer. The daze is now removed. We don't have any Doctor Strange cards in our hand anyways. It's not a huge issue. Um, but we are going to do this and we're going to get rid of this guy. We're taking less damage because we're, we're weak, right? So 
That's kind of that's actually kind of cool that weakness also reduces the damage it does to us. And this is going to get him a KO on that officer as well. It'll probably pop us a tutorial here for his souls mechanic. Protection's lost, all right. Okay, no, no, it didn't. It didn't give us a tutorial. That's fine. Um, now what do we do? We do have two extra card plays here, so. We could just come in with a heal. And then we do a Drain Souls, even though it's not super efficient. This does buff the next Drain Soul that we get. So we'll add more chaining. And he'll have a decent chunk of health. He'll probably be up to... F well, yeah, he'll be up to full with the heal from Holy Flame. Or... 19 plus 4 from a Drain Soul here... I mean, I could just chain this guy twice and use Holy Flame, and then this guy's dead. And we're only taking one attack from this elite. We should be able to sustain that because we're going to heal, like, eight off of this. And if we give the KO to Ghost Rider, then we build his souls. Just, I'm just trying to clear the board, man. The of will just be trying to undoing. clear the board. And then we shouldn't be weak next turn, so we could set up for a really nice hell ride in combination with ins with uh, uh, Inspire. If we feel like we have enough heroism on the next turn, we could even redraw Inspire, but yeah, we'll see. Let's just chain him. It's your turn. Goodbye. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. So we're gonna keep these. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this guy into the uh, into the box. We already used our move. And I feel like, yeah, no, I feel like this is what we're gonna do. This is good. Accept your fate. Goodbye. Now, I don't think we got reinforcements on that last round. Which, trust me, I'm very we grateful for. Don't think I will forget that. I don't So these guys are dealing 23 damage right now per attack. We need to we need to keep that in mind. Maybe on the defeat heavy enemies, maybe we don't even get reinforcements. Maybe that's the deal. Because reinforcements typically are um, uh, like minions. So, yeah. Now, what's interesting here, <laughs> these guys are at 56 health. I could line up a hell ride right here. and take a bunch of them out. The problem is So, if I want to if I want to do this, first of all I need to weaken those guys, then I need to play Inspire, then I need to play Hellride. That's that's the order of operations here. Um I'm going to redraw a whip. Okay. This guy that... I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill these guys, man. I probably... Let's redraw the other whip. Ho, 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 ho. That's what we needed, baby. Okay, so now we, we're going to buff Hell right up to 58. And that'll be enough to take these guys. So we go Blessing of Ashanti. This goes up to 58. Then we go Inspire. Then we go Hell Ride for free. 
And then we're going to discard the rest of our cards, but that's fine. Only this guy will be alive. They're targeting the hunter. Hunter's healthy. So... Let's go. I, how could this go wrong? How could this go wrong? So, random heroic card, which is going to be hell right, obviously. So, hold on a sec. The other option here... The other option is we don't do that. The other option is that we just heal. We get two heroism off of that. Then I just play Hellride, which leaves us with one heroism, and we're healed. Whereas if I play Inspire and then Hellride, um, we're, well, we'd be seeing it two heroism, but we're not healed. So it's kind of tough to say, and we're going to have this guy to deal with in the next round. He is attacking the hunter, so might get dazed. That invigorated. Oh, that's that lasts the whole mission. For some reason, I thought that it was just the first turn. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to redraw Hellmouth just to see what other options are out there. <laughs> cool. An extra hell ride with crit. So, funny enough. If I would have drawn this before playing the um, attack buffs, we wouldn't have needed to play that. And, yeah. Either way, whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's going to get discarded one way or the other. So, how do I want to play this? I think strategically it makes sense to have less heroism, because... All of these hero uh, environmental attacks out there that are left only require one anyways, and he's not in range of any of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to heal here, and then I'm just going to hell ride. Behold the light's gift. My strength grows. Okay. Now, Ghost Rider, you're going to come over here. Um, because we're going to be KOing three, uh, we should fill his souls meter as well, which should give us a copy of Drain Souls. That is freaking wild. I just love, I love how over the top that attack is. It is the best one in the game, I think. So good. Minus Wolverine has this sniff card. It's also pretty funny, but... When Ghost Rider KOs a number of enemies and fills the souls meter, who draws a copy of Drained Souls, increase friendship with Ghost Rider to prove this passive. So we can make it so that the uh, souls meter takes less to fill. And I believe if uh, we get his passive, I think it's if we fill the souls meter, he gets an extra 15% health that can trigger twice per mission. And because he trades his health for damage a lot of times, we're pretty solid. So now we can chain three. Very nice. Everybody's full health here. So next attack... Yeah, like, we're, we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good spot. I can't... Oh, I can. He's actually close enough. I'll do it. <laughs> Absolutely. See you later. The enemy has the upper hand. Not slow me down. You may notice uh, the first time that we use an ability, there's sometimes Your some like, um, like frame skips or or whatever. And I don't know if that's the way that the game processes graphics, but the f it's usually just the first time, and then it's and then that's it. So, okay couple of things we have to our advantage. We have a, a forceful knockback. So he could be sent into this. He could be sent into this. Uh, that's fine. That's an option. We could open up a Hellmouth and try, like, knocking him into it. We actually have two Drained Souls here. Um... 
If we open up a Hellmouth, we get two her uh, heroism from it, and then I can chain soul or drain souls one, one time. And then I could, uh, then I could try a knockback. The problem is it's going to be pretty unlikely. Whereas I could, the other option is to, well, I'm going to redraw one of these. Let me just redraw one of these because this could tell a better picture. Okay, there's a double lash, which I'm I'm actually open to. I'm actually open to this. So I think what we do is we knock him into the barrel. He takes a bunch of extra damage. Then I come in. Oh no! See that if I'm gonna stun him, which ultimately I want to do if I can't, uh, if I can't kill him, I want to stun him. So I have to do that last because if he's stunned and then I attack him with a drained soul. He's going to wake up. And yes, he's de he's damaging the hunter, but like these status effects get really annoying. So the hunter can probably take it here, but uh, what do I want to do? Let me uh, let me redraw another Winds of Latoon here. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's do this. I'm not going to be able to kill him this turn, so I'm going to Agamotto's Gaze. This is basically going to make sure that we can take him down next turn. The light shines on the most dutiful. Okay. Yeah, I think this might be a bug where it says he has that strengthened because we're not getting that extra damage there. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that was just for the first turn, but either way. Yeah, see, it says here, well rested, all heroes gained one resist, and uh, started with two redraws. Okay, so that just shows you what happened. So it's not saying he actually has that. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I got two card plays left. Uh, we want to go into a Drain Souls, because that's going to be 24 damage. And then this will be up to three for the next turn. Er, uh, yeah, three heroism, but four chain. For the next turn and then uh we're gonna finish by lashing him into this so he doesn't take any actions at all that's the play only the innocent are spared <laughs> oh, oh interesting oh he was full never mind i was like i don't know why he only took two there but it's because he was full so that's fine uh, but now, look, see, this one's a chain four. Like, this, these things can get out of control if we <laughs> play our cards right. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Uh, yeah, okay. So the other option we have is I could, I could lash him into this. And then I could blow it up and just let him take an action anyways against the hunter, but... I don't think I'm going to do that. We can, we, can, we can blow him up in the next turn. Not bad. Not I have great. no clue Not bad. if I feel like this is taking us a long time, but I mean that's this is going to be the challenge on on uh, ultimate difficulty, man. Is this is not easy, especially against these heavy enemies. Ooh, to be a, match for us. a dirty hell ride. Love that. Love that. Fifty one. Okay. So that's 51 damage. This is 32 uh, for the same amount of heroism, but uh, this boosts the next Drain Souls card. This is more damage. If I, if I can get this played last, I think that would be good. How much do we need here? We need 142 damage. It's like, holy, that's just insane. I'm going to redraw Hellmouth. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Because what I can do is do something like Holy Flame for damage. I could even save this... Well, I could, I could move over here. Forcefully knock back him into this. 
That would be two cards. Then we would be up to three heroism. Then I'd pr I then I guess I have to do like a lash, right? But if that's the case, maybe I should just send them send them like way over this way. I just don't think we I don't think we can get them close enough to that. But there are more environmental objects here, but we have a lot of heroic cards that we need to play here. If I could buff this, I don't I just don't think I'm going to be able to play both. That's the thing. Hmm. I'm going to redraw this. <laughs> I mean, that could certainly help. That could help. This won't end well for you. Let's get let's buff all the attack cards here. This could aid me in my fight. So I got 3 card plays left. I'm thinking if I did The Holy Flame here. I actually think that, like... So let's just take a look. So if I target there versus this... Yeah, we're getting way more off this. We're gonna start with that. Little self-inflicted damage there. Never hurt anybody, did it? Now he's coming in with a powerful attack. You see that flashing thing? So I think he's pissed, which is um, not great, honestly. How am I gonna handle this? I d I just I just don't have the heroism to 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 take care of him here. So I think the smarter play is to I don't know how much damage he's dealing but that that he's coming in with a more powerful attack so I may actually have to heal here in self defense if I can't knock him out anyways then it doesn't matter right so you've invoked the wrath <laughs> I think you could make a really good argument for Blade on these heavy enemy missions. Impressive. Because if we can get his bleed going, that's going to just put out so much extra damage. See, now, he is going to be weak. I can't imagine he's dealing 36 damage while weak. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm willing to take that bet. Um, I do just want to look at if I forcefully knock back him through, like, through a bunch of stuff. Notice how if I throw him there, look how low he's getting. He's like just below the second marker. Versus Holy Flame. Where he's just above. So this actually works better. Sometimes these little like checking different areas in the environment can pay off big time. Now we're definitely set up to take him out on the next turn. And because he's weak, I'm less concerned about the Hunter being in a bad spot. That said, I am going to run the Hunter way over here to hopefully be able to use environmental stuff if necessary. Oh! What is this? Oh, did he? Did he switch targets on me? I was uh, so zoned in on his actual attack icon. I swear he was targeting the hunter. Yo, I swear he was targeting the hunter. Okay, well, I mean that's that's fine, I guess. Should we um? Should we hell ride to finish this? I think so. Hell ride's the coolest way to go. Watch closely. 
So he's primed to explode on the next turn. He doesn't explode um, when killed. Oh, but I can't act. <laughs> I'm full stunned, man. I'm full stunned. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Get in there. Trying to go for those extra style You've points. I feel like work. that's... That's at best a two-star. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping... I, I would be pumped if it was a two-star. I think it's going to be a one. Yeah, I'm pumped, man. I'll take that. I'll take that. Six turns. Okay, not bad. It felt like 20. Felt like 20. But that's good. Take that all day. Hunt for Hydra. Yeah, I feel like he was kind of the star there. He's definitely the most flashy. Um, I don't know if we need to take this or not, but either way. Okay. Nice first mission with Ghost Rider. And a two-star. That's like, a two-star is above average. So, I'm happy. That is a good-looking team right there, let's be honest. So, the research progress for Forged and Hellfire, if you saw that, we have to do four missions with, um, with Ghost Rider. Now we're going to get introduced to Abbey Clubs. So one thing you're going to notice, even though we're out of the quote-unquote tutorial, there's still so many mechanics that we need to learn. There's there's ability crafting, not, not the upgrades, not just getting the cards. There's like a cauldron for crafting additional stuff. We haven't built any uh, combat items. We haven't unlocked the gift shop. Like there's a ton of stuff still. Uh, so now we're getting introduced to clubs, which are pretty cool. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Oh, thanks. Hunter, that sounds I'm just hip and cool. For you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out <laughs> emo kids. <gasps> Tell me yeah. what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Um, yes, but I need a moment. I need to take care of something before we go. Sure thing. Find me when you're free. So I want to see if we can do a, uh, a hangout before, yeah. Strange is available. I must meditate on oh, these guys are just talking. Okay, so maybe we can't do a hangout till after. I'm not sure if they're mutually exclusive either. It might be if there's a club thing, it's either the club, the like club might take precedence. Hunter? Anything going on today? Yes, Nico wants to speak with you. <laughs> do so before you sleep. Oh, does she? Can you tell me what this is about? No. <laughs> All right, I can see that we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. If you're free, I'll assemble the emo kids. Yes, assemble the emo kids. Lead the way. Let's do it. I didn't catch the full name that she changed to emo kids. Uh, she said she rearranged some of the uh, letters, so... Oh, yeah, okay, so this is where all the rods are. I think we'll probably go get our fourth rod soon. So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Okay, I want the full Doctor Spooky version, please. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. 
Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. <laughs> Esoteric right. Mystical Order, emo. emo. Kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. Obviously. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's Staff of One to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual? The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! No, maybe I should have went with the abridged Doctor version. Doctor Strange, <laughs> the ritual. How does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. Could have started there. Could have started there. Yes? How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. See? So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting, and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to limbo and push you inside before the explosion. <laughs> there is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely. Oh, she's cool. How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. Hmm. Great. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. On it. Operation Don't Explode underway. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you see. I raced through the Abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. We were not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot. No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. Well, I didn't explode, so that's obviously pretty solid. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow <laughs> night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. Okay, okay. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later. We do have to get our gathering on. Uh, also, we get abilities here. Okay, so Nico ability. It's an attack card for 25 on KO 
restore 17 health to Nico or an ally, and this is selected randomly. Uh, all of Nico's abilities are... They're, they're random, but you usually know what the randomness is when it's drawn into your hand. And Witchfire for Nico. Damage a random enemy on KO. You recast it. So that's pretty nice. This is pretty high damage as well. Um, so at worst, it's a 34 attack. And at best, it's... 68. Across two enemies. Okay. I like it. Uh, what's the upgrade? Three recast. That's... Wow, okay. And then here it's... Restoring 34 health. So instead of, like... Restoring just over half... You're restoring, like, an extra... Third-ish. That's cool. Or wait. Oh, like, an almost a 50%... Increase on the damage amount. Yeah, give or take. I can't. I can't math. I only get to select one of these. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna take Witchfire. I. You could probably tell. I don't love having to heal. Oh, they all got an emo kids outfit. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's look at this. I love that they, we can dress them all up however we want to. That's cool. We can have them wear combat outfits here. I can also switch on this where they're going to change their outfits every day. That's kind of a cool thing as you unlock a bunch of stuff. Um, I think we'll just put her in the emo kids, to be honest. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, we'll just keep her in the emo kids t-shirt for now. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna have to sleep. Then we can get, uh, our coil analyzed. Turn in our artifact. Actually, what I should have done there is I should have, I should have went to the library. Holy, we got tons of stuff to do here. Okay. Hunter! Our time in the training hour was brisk and invigorating, such as the power of exercise. I fear you're losing too much of your time to the mundane mediocrities and daily drudgeries. You need to restore your sense of wonder and imagination to peek behind the veil and see the delicate machinery of the universe laid bare. Summary, we need a break. Shall we take one? Yep. Yeah. I'm down. What is that strange ripple in the air? It is not quite wind. I knew you would sense it. It's the transmigration of life essences from one level of existence to the next. Human souls? No. Insects, birds, other creatures. The Abbey is a waypoint where the veil between planes is quite thin. During quiet times such as this, you could actually feel it happening. I didn't want you to miss it. Now, because this is a light option, we do not want to go this route. Because that's going to sway our balance back towards light. And it makes it harder to progress further into dark. If I stand still, it is like I can feel every wing brush past me. Mm, there's no sensation quite like it. More relaxing than a visit to a spa. It also reminds us of what's at risk of vanishing completely if your mother gets her way. Indeed. But I have a feeling that with a life force like yours in play, that won't happen. It's a cool shot. Okay, so I didn't realize that we had hit a, a friendship level with him, but whenever we do that, that's when we get those private messages on the super link to do one of these hangouts. Um, and then that brings up his his individual friendship level. You'll also notice our team friendship level increases. So once we get to level one, we unlock the hero combo cards and then those get shuffled into our deck. And those are a lot of damage for like four heroism generally. He also got a uh, Doctor Strange hangout rewards unlocked and an inverse common palette. 
Hunters increase their friendship level with a hero. Reaching new friendship levels will unlock powerful gameplay rewards. Friendship levels also grant new cosmetic rewards that can change the appearance of that hero in combat. Uh, so let's take a look here real quick. So on this one, he unlocked the inverse color, which is actually nice, but like... Can you beat the Super Supreme, like Future Supreme? That's just so good. Okay, so we're well on our way to getting him to level 2, which unlocks one of the strongest passives in the game. So I'm happy about that. Um, let's quickly stop by the mission table, or the mirror table, and see what we're going to tackle next, because that might change our approach. So here's an operations assault for a gamma coil and an intel cache. Uh, gamma coil and credits here. Gamma coil and an artifact. Or we have rare gamma coils, rare artifacts. Destroy the device. Normal rating mission. Plus we can take on this challenge. We can get arcane keys if we spend three intel. And uh, that gets us a little bit of action with Iron Man as well. Now, we don't have to bring the Hunter here if we don't want. But, uh, again, I don't think it's a bad idea just for, the, just for the friendship boosts, you know. But who would we want to bring on this mission, I wonder? We're not going to take this just yet. Blade's pretty strong. We don't have any, like, solid tanks yet. Uh, the closest would probably be Carol, because she can she's capable of generating some block. Um, Blade's health is obviously the highest on the squad right now, but he's considerably stronger than than everybody else. But I, I do think that's the mission that we'll take. I was kind of looking for essences as a reward. Um, I think we'll probably do one more side mission before doing the Spider-Man one. Um, but doing the Spider-Man one is important because it'll add Spider-Man to the squad, so it's pretty important for us to get that done. Hunter, hello. The Hunter rests so peacefully in that dark tomb. I don't like spending time in there, but it pulls tremendous energies from the ground on which it sits. Perhaps it is enough. This is about restoring the elements, so it's a hint about the elemental rods. This is a little cryptic. It's a clue. Don't worry if you can't solve her riddles all at once. I'll translate new clues every night. But the Abbey grounds are huge. How will I know where to look? You used to love running around these grounds as a child. If you need a refresher, study your map. Use the Abbey map to find your way around. Keep track of heroes. New regions and chests appear on the map as you discover. Use fast travel to move quickly from place to place, which we will definitely do. Hey! It's the Aww, Abbey Cat! Who is a good kid? That's rare. Very rare. Very rare. Oh! <laughs> 25 RK knowledge and all heroes leveled up? I didn't know that. Oh! Okay. Wow. Like, literally? Yeah, level 5. Look, he went to 7. Does that happen every time you find the cat? That is... Insane, if true. Troublesome alignments. Agatha's hastily written note. I've been charting the celestial movements the past many months. Once the alignments have been properly calculated, I will gain a better understanding of the coming resurrection. As I get closer to narrowing the timelines, I've begun to pick up disturbances within the grounds of the Abbey. Current events have intensified as of late, and a low rumble can be felt emanating from Lilith's tomb. Do you have any more uh, books in here? For the knowledge and the glory. Oh, by Loki, true ruler of the Ten Realms. Someone of my background and skill set must find interesting ways to pass the nearly infinite stretches of boredom. To be blunt, I do not seek power and conquest, as many have alluded to in the past, but I also seek out my own forms of entertainment. This is, I believe, adds the spice... Oh, this, I believe, adds the spice of life to many of these so-called heroes' rather dull existence. It's quite easy to do what you're told. Follow orders, stay in line, do not oppress the weak, blah, blah, blah. Where's the challenge there? 
Imagine my dear brother Thor's adolescence without the occasional spider, giant spider manifestation to create chaos and liven things up a bit. Without my contributions, his younger years would have been a never-ending series of training exercises while listening to our father ramble on for all eternity. I like to think that Thor welcomed the occasional serpent attack on the city of Asgard. Moments like those gave him a chance to show off and flex those meathead muscles of his. Without me, he would be on his own, searching out trouble. I merely bring it right to his front door so he can play hero. However, there were times that he was not quite thrilled when I took what I considered to be exciting and unique creative liberties. I do not think he especially liked when being turned into a frog or a woman, for that matter. We did have fun, didn't we, dear brother? At least I did. <laughs> yeah, Loki, of course. Mythical, the Mythica Zoologica, the Wild Hunt. Is this a Witcher reference? Though the occurrence of the phenomenon is widely overreported, there are still well-documented cases of the wild hunt occurring in modern times. If one wishes to hear the hounds of Anwin as they course overhead, areas of historic suffering are always an excellent place to start. And as to look upon them is to look upon death itself, best to wait until Selenian illumination is at its lowest point. Point. What does Selenian mean? I feel like this, like maybe the moon? Selenian. Is a. What? Yeah, pertaining to the moon. Okay. Refers to the highest point on the moon. So I think this might just. I don't know if this is a hint or not, but there's these historic sufferings. If we can find areas of historic suffering when the moon is at its lowest point. Huh. Hidden Veil of Gods and Man, Volume 2. The ancient elder god known as Cthon is a malevolent entity capable of untold destruction and ruin. It is a dark force lying in wait, poised to reveal itself and bring about untold horrors. Without Gaia, who currently resides within the Earth, our world and its outlying planets would have been consumed long ago. Okay, we have a couple of follow-up questions for her, but we're gonna do that later. Everything by the numbers. Nice. Okay, so we actually got an upgraded photon beam, which means two things. We can add this to our deck and use the extra to then buff the unupgraded one. So we'll get basically this is giving us two upgraded photon beams. We'll take that. I'm here if you need me. This also unlocks compliments. So the hunter now has a chance to earn compliments by doing research projects, completing hero ops, research, reaching a new training level in the yard. And when you compliment a hero, it's going to increase their friendship. However, if you keep complimenting the same person over and over, it's going to have diminishing returns. So you do kind of want to spread that around. But for my first person, I'm going to compliment Doctor Strange, because I would love to get him up to level two. Rings of oh, it's just you. Okay, maybe I have to do this before I can actually talk to him. Let's see. I'm quite pleased with these results. Training dummy shove for the yard. That'll be very nice. And now we can see some additional stuff in here. So our research is definitely going to be supernatural fabrication. Uh, I need to get another artifact, and that is coming on the next mission. That'll get us to level two, and we have the requirements here. So that's nice. Okay. We have an artifact Please for tell him. Me it's not another amulet. Oh, there's some essences. One sorcerer's Excellent. Trash is another's treasure. Blueprints we're going to learn about later. Be the judge on this one. That's where we can craft specific abilities. That takes us to level 2. I'm at 43 credits. The research is progressing well, but we need a bit more time. Apply modifications to upgraded abilities. So this is the mod thing that we're not going to get to this for a while but this is where cards can get really wild anyways hey hunter no problem you're welcome hunter 
Okay. A Dark Hunter card. Uh, gain one vulnerable. So, we're trading off basically a lot of uh, damage, but we would be vulnerable, which is kind of not great. Bolt of Bathak. This is a rare ability. Enhanced with four heroism for extra damage. So straight, just 18 damage right now. It's probably his offense number. Four heroism adds 13. Is that... I don't know. Is that that good? Uh, we can get another Drain Souls. And Blessing of Ashanti uh, is giving heroes plus nine damage now. But if I look at the upgrade... Oh, look at that. Give the hero cards in your hand nine damage for the rest of the mission. So early on, this Blessing of Ashanti, into a giant very, very Egypt, nice. I'm the upgrade here is uh, if you use Chain all on one person, that's full combo. Then you gain one soul regardless of if they're KO'd or not. So that's not bad. Enhanced with four and six heroism. So at four, you're going to add 13. At six, you're going to add 26 plus the 18. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like for six heroism, that's... It's just not enough damage. Obviously, as he gets stronger, that card becomes stronger, but... And then here... Oh, look at that damage increase on upgrade. That's quite good. We need, we need more uh, dark cards. So, we're gonna take this. And then I'm thinking we take a Blessing of Vishanti here. All right. See you, Hunter. Bye-bye now. Okay. Upgrade the yard. Do we have the cash for shove? Oh, that's really sad. I'm seven short. I'm seven short. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs of time to take it to the next level okay let's look at his we want to buff blessing of vishanti for sure an enhanced spell most welcome and what else do we have here nothing that i can afford quick blast this is a pretty this is a pretty solid upgrade uh we are looking to go on his mission next so Having Quick Blast Plus, where we just draw an Iron Man card after using it, is pretty good. Super, Constant super innovation. synergy there. That's the Stark promise. Now, if we're lucky, we might be able to find some credits just sitting around, but we've already picked up like I think four different drops. I don't know if there's any in the back here. But I bet if we found some credits, I bet it would be the seven. So it's at least worth looking. They're not just in the whole Abbey grounds either. They're only in the Abbey, those little those little uh, pickups. Oh, look at this. Three. Oh, kills me. Good girl, Charlie. Okay, more knowledge, more credits. Charlie's level five. Awesome. Oh, she has a request. Nice. Okay. Dinner was always... Oh, magic nods as you approach. You know, I've been wondering. The Abbey is beautiful in its own way, but I can't imagine growing up here. Do you have any favorite memories from your childhood? I could say uh, dinner was always fun, a warm fire, feeling the good, tired... From a day of training, Agatha teasing caretaker about some small thing. If I wasn't solely focused on like a dark hunter approach, I would take that because you get six hunter uh, light balance and magic friendship XP, but that's going to mess up our, our dark hunter progression. So the feeling of achievement when I mastered a new move, the look of pride in caretaker's eyes, we're going to get a common hunter ability. Thanks, Hunter. Okay. Charge. I own one, so if I have if I have the essences. Back again. 
So I don't I don't have the essences for I think we've got something for everyone. Oh wait. Hold on a sec. Alright then. Um Okay, I only have I only have one charge. I thought I had more for some reason. Oh, it's because I have slash plus. So a slash does damage, and then we upgraded it to add the forceful knockback. That's right. Um, so that the upgraded version is a better charge, obviously. Uh, that said, now I think I want to incorporate this wild strike. Um, I don't want to necessarily deplete my deck of the quick attacks. But... If I throw this in, then we could look at upgrading this to have knockback and quick. So we have quick slash plus, which is very nice because you could knock out two minions with quick and then you get the card playback, right? Um, so that's an option. What's the upgrade here? 25% chance to apply stun. See, I don't love that. 25% is a little too low for this to be that useful. Because you can't, you can't rely on it, right? So then, at, at its core, it's still just a forceful knockback card. And I can get that with Slash Plus as well. That has damage on it as well, you know? Um, we have the, the potential heal upgrade, but I don't have um, the essences. Practice makes perfect. But I might have enough. Oh, I actually do. I've, I have 30. Knock back and quick, or we upgrade our, our heal card. Or I could do both. It is my it is my hunter deck, so the, the hunter's gonna get used the most. Plus, this is gonna unlock the next um, yard training. So, we'll take that. Now, explosives deal more damage. If we keep progressing this as much as possible, the damage from the environmental attacks are going to outdo what we can do. So, pretty solid. I still say we should have. And then for sparring, it's a combat bonus again. This is going to cost. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm up to 57. Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't know where I got the gold. Because we picked up three and I was short before. Uh, where did we get this? I'd have to look back. I must have... It must have came with something else. Maybe part of the hero op? I'm not sure. Uh, but... I think we want to take this. Better to have it and not need it, right? Okay, shove is big. So now our moves become shoves where we can Peace. move and knock someone into stuff. Blade has something. Sub Hunter, I document the supernatural creatures I come into contact with. One day, I'd like to publish a book on the subject. I'm writing a query letter to publishers. How does this introduction sound? The dark occult corridors of the world are filled with monstrous creatures. From Atlanteans to were roosters to the taker of heads, I, Blade the Vampire Hunter, have hunted them all, and many others. Did you say were roosters? Yeah, that was a bit weird. Don't get tripped on them. How does the sentence flow <laughs> feel? Is it clunky? I have some thoughts. <laughs> You're hung up on the were roosters. All right, let's hear what you got. Poor Blade, man. Is Lilith in your book? Poor Blade. I imagine she has several chapters. No. Too dark, huh? Nope. Just figure if anyone's gonna tell that story, it ought to be you, Hunter. But maybe Lilith might be a footnote. Thanks for that, Hunter. I think I will keep the were roosters in the introduction. Fisticuffs, if you remove that nugget of supernatural cockadoodlery. <laughs> I'll give you a shout out in the acknowledgments chapter. But I don't do autographed copies. Whoever wrote supernatural cockadoodlery, I'm just saying. 
Just saying. Deserve a raise. Hey, where's Strange? Where is he? He's outside. Oh, you know what? I think we saw him cross-legged chilling over here. Yeah. Welcome, Hunter. Can I not talk to you? Can I not give you a compliment? Considering the risk he put himself in to assist us earlier, I'm more than The compliment is F. Help Spider-Man deal with the ongoing Venom situation. No. That's funny that you can hear it like winding up, but uh here's what we'll do. So I am going to take us somewhere. We're gonna go to the Hunter's Folly. You remember that that hint that we had? Well, we're going to go for a little... Oh, I can't go around this way. We can go for a little jaunt. Now, we could fast travel over there. But, remember, they were going to send us something about... They were going to send us a list of materials needed. Heading to the grottoes. Anyone to play volleyball? You're all such babies. You opened a portal, spiked the ball, slammed it into the back of Robbie's head. Uncompetitive babies. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, I guess we'll wait for that list. But, I do want to pick some stuff up, if we can. Also, we have these strange little statues here. Jeremiah Kane, Breaker of Chains. Edra Moore, Our Fighter, Our Heart. Five Arcane Knowledge apiece. Boom. Get a, get an extra cosmetic reward from Arcane Chest now. Leave the best and made it so. Son Curious. of this land, Will Walker. I don't know any of those names. Get one more cosmetic reward from Chess. So, uh, I don't know if that erases the previous reward where we were getting extra from... Uh, Stuff that we had, that we pick up, or if it's cumulative. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Witch Hazel, good. Now remember the book said the. Uh... Oh come on! Give me the chicken mushroom. Thank you. The book said it was in the Hunter's Folly. Now, we don't have this icon. And this took me a long time to figure out when I was doing my preview stuff. Because you typically are using that Word of Power spell on something that has uh, that symbol. But there is there is no symbol here. Uh, however... Hello. Blessings of the Goddess. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. Lichen and moss cover most of the stone's earth-colored surface. Leave it on the ground for even a moment, and it's quickly lost among the halo of plants that spring from the ground around it. Uh, so now we could put these all into the altar. And I'll tell you what, we're already like a pretty long episode here. Some of these early episodes, I know they're long, but... Um, there's just, there's a lot of things that kind of need to unfold before we get into our rhythm. And so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. Are there any pickups? Yep. Some oyster mushrooms there. There's also, there's areas of the grounds that we haven't, uh, opened yet that are accessible with that word of power. Hey, but also, is that not a thing? I'm pretty sure that was a thing at one point. Maybe at night we have to check it. So you'll notice that is pretty much like the... Uh, the statues that we just investigated. There we go. So sometimes this is probably going to get addressed in a patch too. Um, but sometimes the prompts to interact with stuff goes away, and I just hit escape and go back, and then it's fine. But F, F to pay respects, of course. Mm -hmm. 
So this is another part of like a puzzle at the grounds. The Jeremiah Kane, the old midnight son. The of vengeance. I wonder if he was as conflicted as Robbie is about being a ghost rider. Okay, Jeremiah Kane was a ghost rider. Cool, 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 cool. Buckle up. Okay. Um, to match with the engravings here. The old magic still holds. Oh, we got an arcane key for that even. Just for putting them in. Okay. We'll match this one. What was Wanda up to here? One more to go. Very nice. There, finished. Holy smokes. Keys for days. And it's another moon seal. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a couple of things around here that I can see. We've done a loop, but like, we've done a loop before, I should say. Um, things do grow back. And also, like, I don't recall what time of day we were here. So I think it's always worth checking. Anyways. Elemental, my dear Agatha. The moon seals are ancient talismans of the old gods. And in your case, they are the keys to unlocking an even greater gift. Is that why Wanda was here? In pursuit of this gift? Just as we started with you as a child, I allowed Wanda to experiment here, with the hope of focusing her powers through training in basic elemental magic. But that is not what happened. Wanda's connection to the old gods, to Cthon, was not the same as yours. She isn't descended from the blood, and the trials weren't meant for her. But you knew this before she started. I did. And you should understand that I regret not putting a stop to her efforts sooner. Then what really happened here? When Wanda tried to use this moon seal to access the next trial, the Bloodgate didn't open. But the seal's power did have an effect. She had visions, both terrible and somehow alluring at the same time. What started as idle curiosity became a compulsion for her. And now I am on the same path. So, where is the next Bloodgate? Beyond the Standing Stones, if memory serves. I doubt you'll have any trouble finding it. Very nice. Okay. Um, we're at Agatha's altar. She, oh, she wants to talk. Okay. We may have woken you up to save the world, but just think where the Abbey would be without your efforts, Hunter. The magical energies flowing through the grounds are converging on the altar, drawn to it like moths to a flame. As a child, it never occurred to me how important this altar was to you. Where would a fabled witch be without her various accoutrements? Just as your swords are an extension of your power, so too are my altar, the cauldron, and the library. Oh, cool, okay. And now that the altar has been restored? It's time we start using them to our advantage. Come by the library tomorrow night, and we'll conjure something together. Oh, and thank you again for the help, dear. Okay, so that's cool. That gets us access to the uh, cauldron, which we will happily take. Uh, now, the standing stones, I don't think we have those marked anywhere. They could be up in here. I think they're up in this direction over here, though. This was the first uh, blood gate. 
Um, let's do this. So that's the first one. Now, if we're following here, let's go over to this left side and explore. We want to find the standing stones. And they're pretty obvious, but I just don't know exactly where they are. Hello. Got that thing again. Temperance. Cloak pours from his goblet into daggers, allowing the power between them to retain balance. This card represents harmony and creating something new through combination. You can see the symbol on the door there. Oster smiles upon me. Dreamer's Descent. Okay, let's grab all of this. We have another cracked wall here. You know, I'm just gonna... I don't think this will work, but... Yeah, okay. The goddess disagrees. What if it did? What if it did? Give me all these. Give me all the shinies. Hunter's Journal. Lilith is no longer the light that she once was. All that remains is darkness. Darkness that wears the faith, face of the woman I once called my mother. I'm prepared to lay down my life, for many will perish if I do not act. Only one of us shall walk away from the storm that awaits. It will be me. I can feel it. There are only moments left. Okay, that's sad. Wicker construct. Something. Symbolic totems crudely constructed to honor the elder gods. Oh, that is... That is something. Same Intriguing. thing. Same thing. Ah, I see. <laughs> I was always drawn to this place as a child. Somehow I had almost forgotten about it. More mysteries. Handmade Father Doll. We had heard some allusions to our dolls before. Doll for my father, I spent extra time on this one. Huh. What just what's marked for us on the map here? Oh, Agatha wants to talk in the library, right? This rubble looks loose. This rubble? Or this? Hey man. The gods are fickle. It's it's worth a blast, you know? It doesn't cost me anything. Cleo. Intriguing. Pet cemetery. Cherished companion who will cheerfully meow in our hearts forever. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what the cat's name was that we pet earlier, but that was huge. The cheerful overlook. So who would who would love that? Probably someone like Nico. <laughs> She's the only one that I can think of that's like happy. Hunter's Journal. Agatha always makes me laugh. My aunt is so serious, always. Sometimes I catch her smiling like a little girl, but only when she's with Agatha. With me, she's just serious. The way she looks at me sometimes, I don't think she knows that I see it, but I do. She's afraid. She's afraid that I'm going to be just like my mother. Okay. So we got access to this whole new area, and there's quite a bit going on here. Handmade Hunter doll. Okay. Doll never... Never... Uh, sorry. This doll never had to leave its family behind. Maybe that's why I made it. So... Was I ever really this innocent? I don't know the answer to this. Maybe before I started my training. But I feel like if I find all the dolls, maybe then I can place them on that gravestone. And something happens. That's my guess. Notes on hedge magic. One of the few works of hedge magic that treats the subject with respect. Unlocked recipes, moderate attack essence, and an iron oak charm. So these are for the cauldron, probably. That's a rare recipe book. 
So all of these ingredients that we've been finding are probably going to become very important. This is which sign? It's meaning known only to the witch who wrote it. So there's all these symbols along the Abbey grounds, right? And I don't know what the meaning behind all of them are, but it'd be kind of cool if we can figure it out. I feel like this is a thing. Yeah. Hiram Shaw, we heard about him before as well. Today, with the help of my loyal followers, I continue to work on the foundations of this house of worship. I knew I was called here to this spot for a reason, and praise be, I have found that reason. This page I have unearthed is no ordinary parchment, but whispers to me, calling me to extend my influence and share these words with the people of this village. When he calls, I will listen, for I am his faithful servant. The page whispers to me, and I weep with joy. It is the most clear example of his hand that I've ever witnessed. This is 1688. So even before all of our journal entries. So are these little, like, Hiram Shaw hideouts, perhaps? Where are we on the map here? Yeah, we're out here. Okay, I think these are the standing stones. So what we're looking for... Oh, I think it's back there. Let's just see if there's more stuff. There's always more stuff, you guys. There's stuff everywhere. Hunter's Journal. Sometimes I wake still caught up in my dreams. I'm running but seemingly going nowhere. The dream seems to go on and on. It's dark and freezing and I'm trying to hide and make myself as small as possible to not be seen or heard. Sometimes there are strange voices screaming from far away and I'm on my feet running again. I'm never fast enough. It feels like these dreams are distant memories or maybe something yet to come. But when I shake away the sleep, I'm safe and warm. Agatha and Sarah are here. Everything feels okay. The other nice uh, benefit of being thorough as you're going through the grounds for the first time is that later on you can you can just start fast traveling to the different areas here's another doll my old fort caretaker was furious when she found i had built it i never got the chance to truly know my mother only the monster she became that's rough Or doll finds are on point. The standing stones. Yeah. There is powerful magic at work here. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the seal there. High Priestess Jean Grey, X-Men, I believe, stands powerfully and summons flames from her palms, holding her stance and waiting for the next move. This card represents instinct and wisdom with a hint of mystery. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm There's another haven spot, too. Uh, we'll open a rare chest. Try to save our keys for the, for the rare items. Oh, damn! Okay. Okay, this is like a legendary combat item. Select a hero, double the damage of their next environment attack free. Wow. Okay, that's very cool. That's very cool. I kind of wish the rewards would stay up for a little bit longer so that I could more easily go through them. Arcane cooking for the gifted amateur. So another recipe book for moderate skill essence and rune of aggression. So I don't know what... The, I didn't get to dabble in crafting a ton in my uh, early hands-on time. So I, I'm not totally familiar with how much things are going to cost. This area looks like it should be something. The Earthy Glade. We're seeing that thing pop up quite a bit, or where the prompts don't pop up, and I'm hitting escape to, to back out and go in. I'm on the press build currently, so uh, tomorrow I'm switching to the to the normal build. I, that's probably not going to be an issue. 
I should come back another night. Oh, I have to do it at night. Well, that's great. Hello, we've got action over here, though. Aha! That's two! Okay. The great seer known as Endra Moore is buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line. But she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. So, okay. So we saw one that's kind of related to Ghost Rider. One that's sort of similar to Nico. Perhaps a witch from the Salem Coven made this. Another witch hideout. Okay, so this is Hiram Shaw again. The people of Salem line up outside, drooling at the chance to be a part of this congregation. I cannot be more pleased with how many seek out the truth within these walls. With the guides of Gathon and the power within the page, I will set them free. I am the one that has been chosen, and I praise Gathon for granting me this blessing and this power. Yet, where there is light, there are those who oppose it. A coven of witches stalks around us, deceiving my flock and sowing the seeds of distrust. They will be stopped. Okay, yeah, so these, all of these hideouts must be related to Hiram Shaw. Okay, so we're going to head, we're going to head back. And just making a mental note here that this, well, this is a dead end. Let's, let's check it. Okay, so there's another one of those symbols there. Cracked wall. This looks like a spot where you would have one of those uh, Midnight Sun statues, but it's not there. So perhaps something we need to look into later. Another doll. Caretaker never did like the idea of being idolized in doll form. Caretaker hardly spoke of him, but I like to imagine my father was a great hero whose spirit protected these woods. Here's another one. I did talk before about we should, when we get an arcane level, we should rest and then uh, check these, but I'm too eager. Blessed Blade, Common Palette, and Hunting Leather's Common Palette. Give attack cards in your hand critical for the rest of the mission. Free. For the rest of the mission. Oh, but just the ones in your hand. Okay, so it, that's kind of cool, though. Uh, I think this customization, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a brown look. Yeah, I love that. I think that's very cool. Okay, so we're going to do that. Trying to break my legs by taking that jump. <laughs> Let me down! Okay, we're, we are stacked on reagents right now. We just don't know if they're the right ones for crafting or whatever. But okay, so now we have fully explored the area here beyond this gate, which is the Dreamer's Descent. Yeah, Dreamer's Descent. Cool. I feel like that's good value. Okay, so... Uh, I think what we'll do is take on our mission. I'm going to make one more stop and see if I can give my compliment. I can always give it to him tomorrow. Well, hello there. Yeah, okay. So we'll save that for him. And we'll talk to Agatha tomorrow as well. Oh, look at Charlie in front of the book just being a good girl. Okay, sick. 
So yeah, next mission is going to be the Iron Man mission. We're going to try to do this challenge as well, and this will give us some arcane keys. We have another uh, rare chest that's out behind the Hunter's Folly, and uh, that's the only one I think that we haven't opened. So we can start opening some common ones too, just to unlock a lot of the cosmetic stuff. But as you can see, we get some combat items in there too. So I'm going to think about who I'm going to bring on this next mission, and uh, I'll walk you through my thoughts when we uh, return. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know this was a very long episode, but if you made it this far, the secret code word is Iron Man looks solid. Okay, you got to type that in the comments. Iron Man looks solid. Uh, let's actually give him one of his legendary skins. I mean, this one's all right. It's a little over the top for me, but Bleeding Edge is super nice. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you new in the next one. Bye for now.